cell phones. We all have them. We all use them. Um, I, I have an iPhone 6 Plus. I like it. Um, it's acro available across many platforms from not only AT&T to Verizon, Sprint, uh, and a few other ones that I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, the only thing I do not like about certain phones is certain phone carriers, at least I've seen over the past couple of years, are becoming more exclusive to certain brands. Like, um, for example, the HTC 10 is only exclusive to Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile, but AT&T can't have it. So I have, if I have, I have AT&T, and I actually like the HTC 10, but I like to be able to get it, but it's not available in AT&T. The only way I could get it is to pay over $700 to get an unlocked version, and it'll work on AT&T, which is complete BS in my opinion. I'm not a really big fan of certain brands of phones uh, being only exclusive to certain models. So some they're on eight, some they're on exclusively on Verizon or other ones like the new Moto Z, the new Moto Z and the Moto Z and the other Moto Z version that I can't think of off the top of my head. I'll cut that out. Have this pointed. The Moto Z and the Moto Z Force are all are only available to Verizon right now, but it needs to be. I wish it was available right out the gate to all carriers across the way because I don't think it's going to help the sales only be available to Verizon. And Moto really needs that to go all the way across, in my opinion. So I really hate that it's only available that certain phones are only available to certain other carriers because, in my opinion. Every cell phone that comes out should be available to all carriers just right out the gate because that's the only way a brand like HTC or Samsung is going to be able to make money. Of course, they're probably not going to agree with my opinion, but like if it's available to all carriers, everybody's happy and everybody wins. It's the easiest thing to do, and every consumer will be able to get whatever phone they want, whether it be an iPhone, Android, or anything else like that. I've been wanting for myself, for myself, I've been wanting the longest time to also be able to carry an iPhone plus an Android phone because I like both platforms, they both have good things, they both have bad things. But that little debate I'm going to save for another video later this week, so just be on the lookout for that. Okay. Alright, NBA part, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to say about the NBA. Just think of something, Zig. All right, the NBA portion of the video cut, say, in three, two, one. Now, jumping from the tech side back to the sports side for this video, um, my general thought, I wanted to give just some general thoughts about the, the status of the NBA today with the finals going on, finals going on, wrapping up with hopefully the Warriors winning as of recording this video. I know they were up three games to one after Friday night's game. Don't know what's going to happen yet, but hopefully the Warriors won. Um, but the status of the NBA, I think, is kind of kind of a little bit of a standstill and kind of uncertain. Um, I know with a lot of these young stars coming in and a lot of other and a lot of not so known things happening, it's kind of iffy about where the league's at right now. Uh, Adam Silver, the new co the commissioner of the NBA now, I think he's been commissioner for about nearly two or three years. I think. I think he's done a phenomenal job, way better than David Cern ever did when it comes to managing the game, being more of an ambassador try to help make the game more globally, more worldwide, and a lot better for people. Um, so I'll, I guess kind of in a short way I think about this, I think there's some kind of things a little uncertain. I think the game's good with stars like like the uh, like Steph Curry of the Warriors, Clay Thompson of the Warriors, obviously LeBron who's been doing it for God, a long, long time. But I think there's still a lot of things the NBA can improve on, and I'm going to give more of my thoughts about, like with the draft coming up later this week, I'll give kind of more of my thoughts about um, the age limit thing, which I still think is a big debate, and I think it needs to be tackled in the NBA. That's why the game, I think, has suffered so much over the past nearly decade, because um, things change, and a lot of things have changed a lot when it comes to talent of players coming in. They just want to get in early to get money, to be able to take care of families, and I understand that. But there needs to be an age limit because the game has suffered. A lot of other things, the game really has suffered a lot, and a lot of other certain things about the game about the game and just the league in general has suffered but uh, yeah it's just my general thoughts on that and uh, that's just going to be it for this video I just want to give a couple of my quick thoughts about carrier exclusivity and a little status about the NBA so thank you guys for watching drop some likes down on this video and leave a comment down below let me know what you think and let me know if anything else you guys want to chat about um, also if you want to follow me on Twitter my handle's right here 
Um, hit me up anytime. I'm always available. Um, you can also hit me up on Facebook. Be right here and also link down in the video description. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. 